pedestrians are helping cops now. Okay. Um, because over the past so many years, eight years, I'd say, we're dealing with this cop hate. Everybody's so against cops, but on the same point, all this is going on, and so there's a pregnant female cop. I watched a video earlier this week, and she's being, in a way, she's trying to detain this person she's arresting for drunk driving. Yeah. She has him outside of the car. Dude's wearing work gloves, like yellow work gloves. They're noticeable, even in the video. And they're having this discussion, this interaction. And she's being overcome in a way. To the point, people in this red, red Dodge Ram pull over. I say pull over. Park to the point they, I don't know if they did scratch the car or hit the car, but they're so close it looks like they did that the point the passenger, because there was three or four guys in this truck. I don't know who they are. Like don't. The dog. Yeah, they they pull up in front that nobody exited out of the right side. So of the were vehicle. they they in the way of the traffic? A little bit, yeah. Um, but traffic was still flowing; it was going around them. Like people are still passing by. This pregnant lady wrestling with actually wrestling on the video with this gentleman that's in. Wait, so who was the cop? The cop was a pregnant female. Why? Okay, I, whatever. I don't. I'm yep. not getting into that. She was a pregnant female. She's still in the force, still doing beat stuff. And the gentleman was an older gentleman. He that had, she was wrestling with? He was gray-haired. Gray-haired gentleman. So she was wrestling with the gray hair. She was wrestling with, with the a gray big old hair bump. with yellow gloves. She's pregnant, and she's losing. You can, in her shop cam, where you can see everything going on yeah. from the dash cam footage, she is losing. Like, she is not winning this battle. And the point that a red, red Dodge Ram 1500, visibly see it on her shop cam, pulls out, pulls so close to the suspect car that nobody leaves out of the passenger side. So they park in front of it, angled. So it's like, skirt. And everybody gets out, and they help this female cop. How'd they help her? They wrestled the guy back. She detained him then, put him in the they back of the car. They repeatedly punched him in the face? No, they, they actually detained him. They physically detained him. Actual verbiage, not cop verbiage. And so you're bringing this up because you've seen more than just this instance of it. I've seen multiple instances. Why have we had so much cop hate over the past couple of years, but all these videos are coming out of, oh, we're helping cops, to the point that that was a acceptable issue, to the point that, other people have had shootouts with cops that civilians have killed individuals or the, the suspect or dropped the suspect and all this. And the cops are like, I appreciate the help. It was like, one, are our cops not properly equipped, first off? And why are we only, why are we, this goes back to the pregnant issue. Why are we? Sending I, females out that are pregnant and not on desk jockey duty. I think I think that what we're getting into here is something that we've touched on before, is that cops should never go out alone. Alone, they should always go out in teams. I realize I that you know you're running into coverage issues and all this stuff. Eddie talked about this. You're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, but the problem being is that when you send a cop out alone. They're alone. They're alone. They were, got if they get shot, if they get stabbed, there was they got 15 no one. minutes because it it sped up to the time lapse of their video. So you saw the whole video is just two or four times speed. The next time their supervisor, someone showed up for this pregnant female specifically, because today I watched a bunch of different videos because it showed up on my feed. I watched it, but it's consistent. Like the video I watched was a month ago. Which tells me this collection of data has been a month ago to six months ago. The the other side of it, I think, is I say we go back to the 1990s rules of how cops are allowed to handle things, right? All right, explain because where 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 so when you watch cops from the 1990s, are we talking about the show cops? Yes. Okay, they'd come in on a suspect. 
and they'd be beating this motherfucker down. They'd have a nightstick, and they'd just be like, bam, 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 fucking their world up, right? And I think that that's the way that that needs to be handled. Agree, and I disagree on the same point, only on this standpoint. We had more racist cops in the 90s. A lot more racist cops than right. today. Yeah. Cops is a perfect way to show it. It really was. Um, uncle on my wife's side was on Cops in Albuquerque. Well, he was on a couple different episodes. And the biggest issue was people are bipartisan on certain aspects. So if it's this type of crime, we're immediately violent. There's no buildup. There's no law of any no we are immediately violent which to a point has value but to cut out everything in between do they have a weapon first off a visible weapon if they have a weapon hands down pull let's go if they hurt someone cool let's pull if there's no violence to an individual if it's just drug use why are we pulling are they violent to other individuals if yes okay we're pulling like, well, well, but what do you mean when you say pulling? Pulling your gun, like pulling well, their sweater. Well, but that's the thing, because people will get into less trouble for shooting a motherfucker than they will for pulling a nightstick and beating a motherfucker. Correct. And cops has had a perfectly good way of showing. It. I'm glad they revamped it. We see what's going on now. Yeah. And it's one of those. It's a hit or miss. Um, we're we're. I definitely we we will table this for now because we can continue this with Eddie. Um, we'll definitely talk about cops with Eddie. We'll we'll dive will into we, that. Will we though? Yes, we will. Will we, Eddie? Hey. Will we actually get to talk about this? Hey, Eddie. I Let love us you. know in the comments. I love you, Eddie. Um, he'll flick me back. I'll specifically send him this video. 